Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of JavaScript, specifically focusing on a key skill, building your own JSON parser. Let's cut straight to the chase. JavaScript natively supports JSON parsing with json.parse, but what if we create our own version? This exercise not only tests your understanding of JavaScript, but also deepens your grasp of JSON structure and intricacies. We're going to write a function, parseJSON, which takes a JSON string and returns the corresponding JavaScript object. It's a fun challenge that covers different data types like null, booleans, strings, arrays, and objects. The first step in our journey is dealing with the various cases. These include simple types like null or booleans or error scenarios. Our function will use if statements to check and return the right JavaScript object. For example, consider the JSON string true as a string. In JSON, true is a Boolean value. Our function should recognize this and return the JavaScript Boolean true. The same logic applies to other primitives like false and null. Now let's parse hello world as a string. This is a JSON string encapsulated in double quotes. Our function should extract the string hello world from it. We achieve this by using slice one, negative one, which neatly removes the enclosing quotes by dropping the first and last characters in the input. Now the real fun begins. JSON objects are enclosed in curly braces and arrays in square brackets. We'll tackle these by removing the braces or brackets, splitting the string on commas to isolate key value pairs or elements, and then parsing each element or key value pair, which might involve recursion for nested structures. Consider parsing a string array 1, the string a, and null. This represents an array in JSON. Our function should remove the square brackets, then split the string by commas to get individual elements, then parse each element recursively if necessary. Once arrays are handled, let's parse this string object on your screen. It's a JSON object. Our function needs to strip the curly braces. It needs to split the string by commas to separate the properties. And for each property, it needs to find the colon to separate the key and value. Finally, it needs to parse the key and value recursively if needed and add them to a JavaScript object that's ultimately returned. By walking through these examples, we see how our parseJSON function adapts to different JSON formats. It's a versatile solution that can handle various JSON data types, reflecting the dynamic nature of JavaScript and the structured simplicity of JSON. It checks for and handles edge cases, extracts strings, and recursively dives into objects and arrays.